Okay, so Adrian, tell us about this new app, this uh, new game that you have my here. My new game coming out is called Catsomnia, Adrian Curry's Catsomnia. And it's based off my Siamese cat. Uh, his original name was Bilbo Baggins, that's why I, I adopted him. But um, I named him, renamed him Billy Shears, like Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, Paul McCartney's alter ego. But his new name's Asshole Fuckface of America Cat, because that's what he is. So I made a game about him keeping me up all fucking night. And basically, you battle him and try to go to sleep. And my other cat, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, is in it. But you can't shoot her. You lose points because she's the good cat. But I think anyone with a cat knows that they're dicks and assholes and will like kicking their ass in my new mobile game. Sweet, and when's, when's this gonna drop? Uh, probably in the next few months. Right now they're in beta, they're testing, they're getting rid of a couple glitches, making the uh, download screens uh, more flashy, better, mm -hmm. main screen better, so I'm really excited. I played it a little bit a month or so ago. I had a couple glitches that they're currently working out, okay. so I'm excited. iTunes, uh, any other it's platforms? It's gonna be on everything from like, uh, I guess shield tablets, regular tablets, iPhones, smartphones, just everything. Yeah? Great. Well, then you have a, also this project with Stan Lee. Talk about the Superfans. Superfans was my baby. Yeah. Uh, basically, I went around the country, a couple of my friends are in there, and we showed off fandom and at its finest. We went to Rancho Obi Wan, talked with Steve Stansweet. He let me touch the uh, Darth Vader helmet from. Uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, not a New Hope. Empire, Empire Strikes Back. Oh, yeah. And then I licked it. Like I touched it and then I licked my finger so it would always be a part of me. How did it taste? It tasted like the hopes and dreams of small children. That's delicious. I wish I could have that as a flavoring to put on my tacos. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so let's shift gears a little bit and just kind of talk more about the, the con here for this for this marketing piece. Uh, this is your first year here at Lexington Comic Con? Yes, this is my first year here in uh, Lexington. I've done a lot of shopping. I bought a uh, James Gandolfini, Tony Soprano autographed photo from one of the vendors. A uh, bunch of t-shirts, some jewelry over there. It was sparkly. Had to do it. So I'm that person that I'll come here and I'll make money and then I drop it on a bunch of stuff I don't need. <laughs> Talk about the uh, the fan um, response here. How has it been from uh, from a celebrity standpoint? Everyone's really friendly. Like I'm from Illinois, so I'm used to like Midwest mentality, but Southern hospitality is just as good. And um, good food around here, man. Biscuits and fucking gravy, baby. <laughs> so who do you geek out? At, uh, at at this con or you know maybe it's some other celebrities that aren't at this con what makes you geek out see i never care about celebrities i care about their characters but my friend dana snyder who does master shake from aqua teen hunger force like we're friends but then when he like goes into that voice i'm like ah ah dana is amazing i love him mm -hmm. so yeah i geek out over dana nice. yeah <laughs> so you've you know, from America's Next Top Model, the first season, to to your game, to everything, you have a lot on your plate. What else? What else are you doing, or what do you do when you're not working? Um, when I'm not working, I stream on Twitch, playing World of Warcraft and Hearthstone. It's actually how I met my current boyfriend. He's from Louisville. Uh, Boo, Louisville. Louisville. He's, um, well, if you moved out of the state, you would appreciate your whole state. Well... I'm telling you, north side, south side of Chicago, we fight. But when I leave, I'm like, north side's home, too, because I'm in fucked up California, and I miss all of Chicago, not just some of it. But, um, yeah, I met him playing Hearthstone. He's one of uh, Twitch's top World of Warcraft players. So this is love. Nice. So that's what I do is I hook up with random nerds on the Internet okay. when I'm not busy. <laughs> so go ahead and give them your phone number. If you want. <laughs> no, not so much? I kind of woman, so I'm going to stay with my hunter from World of Warcraft for right now. I'm a death knight, so it works out. Impressive. You are, a, of course, a big Star Wars fan. What are your thoughts on the new Star Wars? I have zero expectations for it, so if it's good, I'll be really happy, and if it's bad, I'll be like, well, I had zero expectations for this. Did you like the new uh, Star Trek reboots with J.J.? I liked the first 
new Star Trek reboot, the second one, I just felt played too much on stuff from the show instead of being original. The first one was original and fun, and then the second one, the whole Spock, Kurt, it was just... I felt like, okay, guys, we've seen this before. Did you try this time? It just wasn't as exciting for me. Well, lastly, what do you hope, since you have no expectations for the new Star Wars, what do you hope to see in it? Um, are you hoping to see a lot of the original cast? Do you want the new story I'm to pick up? I'm excited for Gwendolyn, who plays Brienne of Tarth in Game of Thrones. I've met her. She is a tall, lovely drink of water. I think she's amazing, and I cannot wait to see what she brings to the table in Star Wars because, I mean, that's fucking cool. It's like two of my favorite things mashing together, so woo. Okay, and lastly, I'll do one more question for the marketing side of things. Uh, since now it's Sunday and you've had the, the full run here, would you come back to Lexington Comic Con? Oh, yeah, I would totally come back, especially since, you know, my boyfriend's family lives out here and I got to double whammy. I met his mom for the first time last night and he wasn't even here, so no pressure. No pressure, but um, yeah, I'd come back. I I just like the chill atmosphere, good people. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. That was very very good. Sweet.